for uh, the hive um, and it's nothing more than a, a simple box made in the same way as the brew boxes were made only half the size with handles and um, the first thing you do with it is uh, you put on a piece of porous material and I'm going to use uh, hessian so that goes on there and then we need to staple it in place and then pull it reasonably tight So that's, that's basically it. The um, thing about this is that it sits on top of the hive um, and inevitably the bees are going to uh, cover everything with propolis. And so uh, the, the problem maybe with this stuff is that if it keeps getting stuck with propolis uh, it will rip and so what I'm going to do is just put on uh, a little, uh, little um, edge on the thing so that hopefully the bees don't uh, pull it apart. So if I just get the things that I've got here. in That's it, and I'll go around with a, a blade and, and cut this off. Same enough blade. Or maybe some scissors. Anyway, I'll do that in a second. So that's basically it. Um, what goes inside here is sort of um, sort of porous material uh, to heat, come and go, and also to absorb the condensation in winter. And there's various things you can use, and I'm just going to use sawdust, which I have a lot. So this just goes in here. And there it is. So that's the... Uh, Quilt made 
next thing is to uh, sort out the, the feeder. I think I said in the blog that uh, the plans that I used uh, to make the hive didn't have any mention of a, a feeder and as I expect or hope the Warre hive will be uh, populated by a swarm and swarms need feeding to get them started. Um, I thought there ought to be a feeder on there and it turns out that in his book there are plans for feeder uh, but they are what I call a miller feeder, um, which are a little complicated to make. I have made them. So I've just made something a lot more simple. Um, it is another box, same as the quilt, a couple of handles either side, and same dimensions as the brew boxes. And what I've done is I've put a, a floor, this is a piece of plywood with a hole in it. And what I'm going to use as a feeder oops, is this thing, which is called a rapid feeder, and I use this on all my other hives. Uh, the capacity isn't as great as uh, the thing that Warry would have used, but it's simple and uh, uh, it takes a couple of pints, I think, something like that. And the idea behind the thing is that this cone in here sits on top of the uh, hive. The bees will then go up through this cone over the top and in here will be the liquid syrup, syrup even. Uh, this is just a little cap to go on there to hopefully stop them from drowning and this just goes on top to stop the bees from uh, getting in there and also it means that when you want to top the thing up you don't need to stir the bees in any sort of way, you just take this off, put more syrup in there put the lid back on and let them get on with it. So there is the um, hole uh, inside the, uh, the feeder and this thing does fits on top like that and you can have the quilt on top of this if you, if you need it although you probably won't uh, or obviously the roof can go on top. So that is the feeder. <laughs>